The reason U.S. is after Uganda, watch till then, please. Hello. Um, so this happened. Biden warns Uganda of possible sanctions due to anti-gay law. Now, to be fair, the anti-gay laws are pretty intense. You know, like life in prison if you're found to be gay in public, stuff like this. But um, fundamentally, these laws were voted in by a democratically elected government. So what the fuck has it got to do with Joe Biden? You know, now I, I absolutely agree that people should be free to be gay. I do. I, I, I don't think it's a choice. I think if people want to exist in their own space with someone that they love, then I can't really see what the issue is with that. But the reason why places like Uganda have taken these steps is because being gay has been crowbarred together with trans ideology, which is batshit, and they've been told that they, they have to adhere to these things. So Kamala Harris went over, she said, we, you know, our biggest priority in Africa is the LGBTQ rights, which went down like a lead balloon. But now Biden has moved on from attacking Ghana to attacking Uganda. Why do we think that is? Well, it's probably something to do with this. Uganda have just found an enormous deposit of gold on their land. So they are, are set to become uh, pr pretty spectacularly wealthy. And so America is looking for any way to get their fingers in that pie and pay less money for those products than they are worth, which is what sanctions is. It's just a way of robbing the third world. That's what they do. So. Um, the problem that America's got now is that BRICS, including China, make up more um, investable money into countries than the G7 does. So all the countries that will sanction Uganda are not going to be able to buy Ugandan gold. But there's lots and lots of other places now that really, really don't care. And this is once again just a tired old dictator loving white man trying to push his views in a democratic country and it is laughably hypocr hypocritical you want democracy around the world that means that people are going to vote for what they want and notice how he's not sanctioning saudi arabia or anywhere else that does this